Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. The subject is diet and memory loss. Can diet and lifestyle factors actually reduce your risk of developing memory loss and Alzheimer's disease and dementia? That's the question. The answer is that all the evidence points to the fact that it can be very, very important in the prevention of these problems. And it's important to understand this because Alzheimer's disease is the sixth leading cause of death that we have in this part of the world. Even if you don't get Alzheimer's disease, after the age of 55, there's memory loss that occurs to some degree in most people because the brain stops making optimal amounts of the memory chemical known as acetylcholine. So knowing how to prevent these uh, steps is really important. So what happens in the brain where nutrition and lifestyle management can be important? Well, the brain uses 20% of the body's oxygen at any given time. And when you use a lot of oxygen in the tissue, you generate a lot of free radicals as well. The free radicals cause a corrosive effect to the brain cells. And in Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease, even in MS, we see there's a lot of free radical damage to nerve cells. Studies have shown that people who have Alzheimer's disease and people that have Parkinson's disease, if they get high enough levels of certain antioxidants, it can help to slow the progression of the disease. But the reality is that there's some studies suggesting if you get certain antioxidants throughout your lifetime, that it'll, it will reduce the risk that these diseases will even start to occur in the first place. So antioxidants play a role. The other thing is that the, as the memory, after the age of 55, the brain stops making optimal amounts of the memory chemical called acetylcholine. You make it from choline. But the brain can't access the same amount of choline as you get older, so it can't make acetylcholine. Studies have shown that, like the Framingham Heart Study very recently showed that people that get foods that have more choline in them have a lower likelihood of developing dementia and Alzheimer's disease as they get older. And there are supplements that can also increase the brain level of acetylcholine that you need to know about so you don't let this happen to yourself. You want to maintain the brain chemical as much as you can that gives you memory. Also, there are certain uh, foods and supplements that help to decrease brain inflammation, particularly the omega-3 fats. And some of dementia and Alzheimer's disease is related to clogging up your arteries with fat and cholesterol so the blood can't even flow to the distal parts of the brain, can't get the nutrients and oxygen that are required, and you end up having dementia symptoms and even Alzheimer's disease. So staying away from high animal fat foods with lots of saturated fat, trans fats, deep fried foods, you know, this, this feeds into the storyline. The other thing we're seeing is a condition called type 3 diabetes. That's where you have high blood sugar levels, you're a diabetic, you're overweight, you have insulin resistance. Not only does it cause cardiovascular problems and the classic signs of diabetes, but that high blood sugar level is also causing a sugar coating of proteins in the brain. And we're seeing evidence now that people with high fasting blood sugar levels and high insulin levels end up having more dementia and Alzheimer's disease as they get older. So diet and lifestyle plays a big role. And there's also a role of specific supplements that are really important. After the age of 55, there are certain supplements that can actually raise the brain levels of acetylcholine, which is the memory chemical. There are supplements that can improve blood flow to the brain, vitally important. Supplements that can reduce brain inflammation. Supplements that increase nerve transmission through the brain so that all the nerve circuitry stays intact. And also supplements that help to uh, maintain fluidity and plasticity of the brain. And, and also vitamins like B vitamins, specific B, B vitamins, that have been shown to actually shrink the brain, or to slow the, the shrinkage of the brain that happens in everybody after the age of 60. There are no drugs that can do this. So these lifestyle practices are really important. See, the problem is that if you get Alzheimer's disease, the drugs that they have, all they can do is sort of slow down the loss of acetylcholine to some degree, but there are no drugs that can raise the, the levels of acetylcholine through synthesis of acetylcholine, and reduce inflammation and improve blood flow and do all these other things that are really important. Life, diet, lifestyle, certain supplements are the only things that can do that. And to really make the point here, only 1 to 2% of Alzheimer, Alzheimer's cases have been shown to be genetically based. Most of it is lifestyle related, superimposed on a body that's already aging. So if you learn how to slow down the aging process of the brain, essentially the chance of getting dementia, Alzheimer's disease, and cognitive impairment are tremendously reduced. 
So the problem here is that medical doctors, for the most part, are not highly trained on nutrition, lifestyle, and supplementation practices. So they wait until Alzheimer's disease occurs and they try to use the drugs that are available. It's a good thing we have those drugs, but they really don't solve the problem because the average person with Alzheimer's disease dies within a seven-year period anyway. So the idea is to protect your brain throughout all of your lifetime. And as you get older, introduce certain supplements that are really required as the brain becomes more challenged. So I, what I've done is I've explained it all in an e-book that's available right here. It's called the Nutritional Guide to the Prevention of Memory Loss and Alzheimer's Disease. Because brain function is such a vital part of your quality of life now and in the future, you need to download the book and go through it. You'll see that I have all the scientific references there. This is not stuff that I am theorizing about, pulling out of the sky. This is just my opinion. This is based on solid peer-reviewed scientific information. And I've tried to simplify it as best I can. If you read through the e-book, you'll understand how to take care of your brain health throughout all of your lifetime and, and make sure you don't become a statistic as best you can. So e download that ebook right now. Now at machinohealth.com you'll see my other research review papers, you'll see other videos I've created, you'll see footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads and resources that I've created that will help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. It's all free, it's there to make sure that you maintain your body and your mind for the longest period of time. And uh, all the research review papers that I have and the teaching materials I created have all the scientific references in them so you'll know you're getting only scientifically valid information on any health topic that you're searching for. So you really should make sure that you use machinohealth.com as an ongoing reliable resource for health and wellness information for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching.